the day before Christmas 2015. Even though it could have been the year before or the year after that because the days before Christmas in these parts should be called crazy days. I mean, <laughs> they're just full of um, very intense energy. You have excitement generally found in the young people and then you have this stress <laughs> caused by, I suppose, putting off what should have been bought weeks ago to the last minute. And um, last minute shopping on uh, Christmas Eve is never very good, so you <laughs> hear these explosions of um, frustration across the city. Anyway, so I'm wandering around and decide rather than go into the middle of all this um, to walk around the periphery, so I'm sort of going through the center of the city as you see. And the good thing was you just had this wonderful sort of low-slung sun, this golden brown, or go no, gold, just golden sun. Uh, gold orange sun and it lit up the city in this funny way and it was it, I don't know it was just very it was like a strange um, maybe meditation you know walking through the city and looking at the buildings and the shadows and the way people moved across uh, my line of sight and, and I quite enjoyed it and so um, yeah that's what I did so I just zoomed around uh, occasionally <laughs> I stopped uh, listening on a conversation. <laughs> I know it's, I don't know if it's mean, but I mean, the conversation was in public but about somebody who should have bought something and was being told off by his girlfriend or his wife or something. And she was, he was just there, like he had no excuses. <laughs> anyway, that's one of those things that happens on um, Crazy that I don't know what it's like where you are, but um, personally, I feel if you could ban that day, <laughs> there'd be peace on earth. <laughs> okay, on that uh, note of um, wonderful wisdom, <laughs> post-Christmas wisdom, I'll say uh, see you next time.